What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Claudia and this is Katie Counseling. Welcome back. We are T minus two or three weeks away from me graduating. I have no idea y'all. I have uh, three more meetings with my cohort uh, and I'll be done on the 25th of the month and I think it's the 11th. I don't know. Oh, let me look. Oh, it's the, okay. It's the 10th. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, there's this thing called, uh, senioritis and I have it. Uh, before I get started, follow me at Katie Counseling <laughs> on Instagram. <laughs> Do you guys see how fried my brain is? Uh, I am in the Target parking lot. I'm about to go get a facial and then a pedicure and uh, I'm just gonna live my best life today and then I have my um, supervision tonight there's somebody jamming right next to me so if you're hearing music it's what it is so I wanted to give you a quick rundown I have a lot of video ideas that I'm gonna do I'm going to do a video on transference very important um, and then just a bunch of other stuff I do not have the capacity to uh, extract from my memory at this moment. <laughs> All right, you guys, I am so ready for this to be done with in the most beautiful and positive way. In the past month, I've had two, three job interviews. Uh, they're all like a go, um, but the one, that is for right now that I think I'm going to choose is the private practice. We're working on that. We're getting there. We're making professional phone calls. You know, uh, it's interesting. I want to make a video on that as well. Professional communication, how to find people that are willing to take you on because it's a lot of who you know. That's all I'm going to say. Unless you go to like a big facility and you're filling a role. Even, and even then, I think that would help. So I'll have to make a video on that. But I am... How many hours? I don't know, you guys. I have like a few more hours to go to finish this program. I am excited to start registering uh, as a registered clinical mental health clinical intern <laughs> for the state of Florida. So you'll be getting videos about me filling out the paperwork to be a registered intern because for the private practice, I do have to have a registered intern number. We'll go over that together. Um, and I will start slow and we'll see how it goes. Yeah. So I am kind of shook that this is over with. Um, my advice to any of the students that are getting started is that the time's going to pass. Start. The time is going to pass anyway. Just start. Uh, I was remembering I had the first class I took in undergrad and this was my goal for the whole time. Like when I started college, I was, again, because I went to... A community college and I just didn't feel challenged it wasn't for me I um, had to kind of take a couple of years and reevaluate my life and what I wanted to get out of life and how I wanted to spend my time and yada 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 so and when I was 25 or 26 once I was able to take out federal loans I went to the university I go to now and I started undergrad and they had like a track do this undergrad um, program and then if you have a 3.0 you can get into grad school right plus an interview and other things but you have to have a 3.0 at least so I knew my goal was get a 3.0 bitch get a 3.0 and my prior record did not show that um, I'm really excited to graduate and like not be affiliated with the school and whatnot. Uh, just so, I don't know, I can't get in trouble or something like that for saying certain things. But 
we'll get there one day and and it's nothing about the school but my opinions are my own opinions but I've seen a lot of creators um be on YouTube and do certain things and then like they get kicked out of school they get kicked out of programs and I'm just not with all that especially when I made like a really big investment into my education so we'll leave that there but in high school I was a really good student always I didn't show up I had like on-job training I'd be like sleeping in my car I'd be doing stupid shit all the time so to go from that version of me to going to college and not doing well and just like never showing up and having a million excuses about why I didn't show up and I was working and all this bullshit to doing undergrad and getting like a 3.8 GPA to then getting accepted into this program so now like when I'm almost done with this program now to be honest with you, a little annoying voice in my head is like, look for PhD programs, be a psychologist, you know? But to be honest with you guys, this was a tough two year and eight month program. And when I started it, I was already burnt out. So I started the program burnt out. And there was dips, there was place, there was times during my program where I was having pre-ventricle contractions in my heart. My heart was skipping beats, the electricity in my heart was off the chains. Um, I had anxiety, I, I didn't feel well. So I'm excited to share some of these things with you guys because it is a process. And in this process, you learn a lot about your own mental health you're shown things in your own life with your own self and how to overcome them. Um, you're challenged a lot. Um, you're put on the spot a lot. You are, you just learn and grow so much. And even though I've had a job for a long time and I've been around people and things like that, uh, I'm not gonna say this is on the next level but it is on a professional platform where, for myself, I've proved a lot to myself um, that I can be a part of a team and people respect me and my opinion and um, my work that I've put into myself over the years is validated. And not in a egotistical way, in a way where I worked really hard to be a part of something that I really enjoy doing, but also I worked really hard to get here and it was tough and it was a lot of sleepless nights and it was a lot of times away from family, friends, things that I could have been doing these past six years. Um, and I don't want to take that away from myself knowing that I did put in the hours and the hard work. Um, there is a lot of people that work a lot harder than me in my perspective, like doctors that go to school for 12 years and uh, just other professionals, they have their own niche, but it's even more work than this. So I'm not saying this is going to be like the hardest thing you'll ever do, but at the same time, you do have to navigate personal growth, professional growth, uh, you have to retain a certain amount of academic rigor and really schedule yourself for success. So, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> right? Thank you guys for uh, tuning in. My channel is just now, just like, you know, me graduating. I think this is me graduating with my channel as well and I do want to make a lot of content for you guys now that I'll have more time, I'll have more capacity to think about different projects I want to do on here and I really appreciate you guys tuning in. If you like, if you would like to uh, support my channel, hit that super thanks down below. I really appreciate it. 
until next time you guys i'm gonna have some new videos this week i have actually time to film now i'm excited i'll see you next time